Yo, what is up? What is happening? Hope everybody's doing well. So we've got some Alliance War gameplay today. And let me tell you, this Alliance War was super fun. Some very interesting fights. Um, so uh, let's get into it. So I cut out the first two fights. I didn't record them. They're just diversity. Nothing important. Um, kind of boring. I could have fast forward through them, but like, what's the point, right? Okay, so first things first. Big boy boost. Um, with path four, I like to hit the first two nodes, get to the all or nothing, and then wait for full power, and then coordinate with the guy on path six, so I can just do one run through, get all of them, get all of them done. So we're just going to put all the boosts on. Um, first node is a five star um, science on all or nothing, which is always going to be. Um, Ant-Man. Um, so this used to be the hardest node, but now that I've gotten a lot more comfortable with Stark Spidey, this is now one of my easier fights. Um, usually because people don't put a very difficult champ on it, although I'm worried that sometime soon I'm going to see the new Stark Enhanced Iron Man. 90% armor on that dude with all or nothing is going to suck. Anyway, so I'm building up, uh, build up 10 poise. Um, man, that blade synergy, like, I don't, it's, I don't necessarily use Blade that often unless I see like a Mystic on Bleed, which I have right now. But I usually just bring Blade for those, for that three star, or for that three poise synergy. Anyway, so we're just trying to get him to throw these uh, L1s while I've got the taunt up, and he is cooperating. So I think right about here, I'm just going to toss this L2, and uh, yeah, super quick, super smooth, nice and easy. Um, so moving on. Um, next up is what do we got next next up oh yeah next up is a five star tech um so if i see a i think this node is just uh limber um so if i see a science i'm gonna bring in gwenpool um if i see tech then i bring stark spidey because most of tech if not all of tech champions have projectile specials so yeah, that's the smart move here. So we're just going to throw, you know, a little bit of health into Spidey. Why not? You know, um, I buy all of these potions with my glory. Um, so yeah, definitely worth using to top yourself up at all costs. Okay, so it turns out to be a five-star um, Green Goblin, um, which is totally manageable. Um, I think we all have fought uh, green goblins plenty of times so um i think the th one thing about this fight is it is limber so you want to try to um just bait out heavies as much as as possible in the beginning so you don't waste all your rear stuns um so he's regening a little bit but i am not stressed about that because stark spidey's l2 against this man is going to do some damage now you're going to see up here that I, it's not a huge mistake. It doesn't hurt my health at all. But it's one of those things where I swear I was going to be at an L2, so I throw it, but it's just an L1. And then I do this thing where I just like straight up commit. And I was like, all right, I'm going in hard. And I go in and then for some reason I thought I was going to push him to an L3, but I didn't. Um, you know, my, my butthole tensed up a little bit there, but uh, we, we got through it. So... This next fight is wild, um, and uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to uh, jump ahead here. I'll I'll be with you in one sec. Okay, so my alliance mate just wrecked a morning star on that power shield. Very good fight. But now, I checked this guy's profile. I know it's going to be a Medusa rank four Medusa. Um, this node um, is kind of difficult. Um, there's a regen thing going on. Um, I'm going to put an invulnerability boost on myself. So that, oh yeah, there's a 300% cornered. So I'm still going to go Gwenpool, but she gains so much power when she's bleeding. Now the beginning of this fight is rocky and weird, but I have the invulnerability boost, so everything's going to be tame at first, okay? So something weird happens in the beginning. Look at, I didn't get parry. I don't know if it's because I had five hits and for somehow I reduced that with Gwenpool's ability reduction, but that would only be a 10% reduction. I don't know. 
Now, second thing happens, and for some reason, I'm just, I forget that there's living strands, and I'm just attacking into her. Now, I get uh, shredded, um, but it uses up my invulnerability. And I'm like, okay, whoa, why gain your composure, my man. Now, I get back into my rhythm of I'm going to do heavies when um, she's parried, or I'm going to be intercepting her heavy with a heavy. So we'll see whichever way it goes. Um, now it is a power drain node, so I'm not going to be able to um, I'm not going to be able to uh, throw my L3. But this cornered is actually pretty great because she's going to be constantly using her specials, which is very um, I think it's actually pretty useful um, because you can just kind of cycle through them very easily. You don't have to really worry about her not having a special. Um, so as you can see, I get pushed back into the wall, but that's no worries. Um, you can see the regen on this is pretty serious. Um, so now I'm up at about 26, 27 hits, which means I am pretty free to go in. But I do something crazy, and I push it to an L3. Now I know Gwenpool's going to survive an L3, and Medusa doesn't drop any debuffs with her L3. So I was safe, but man, what a fun fight. That was like one of my most favorite fights I had on the path. I've been practicing on Medusa so much. And so it felt really good to just kind of like really not even lose any health. Definitely the invulnerability boost helped me. Um, so that was a thing. But uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to take down this next bleed node. Um, let's check that out. Okay, guys. So we are going in here on this five-star mystic. Now, We I talked a lot about what could be on this node. And it comes down to there being a dorm. Now, definitely going to have maxed. MD, so I'm going to actually throw on another invulnerability boost. It's just the safe play. Um, just in case you do need to push him to an L3, like, that's, those are just the breaks. The nice thing about having a dorm here is sometimes Blade just turns the, turns the bleed off, so there's no bleed on this node. Um, sometimes you have to be careful with dorms heavy and punishing it. Because the second part pushes you back a little far, and you might not be able to get in time. But if you do an early evade on it, you should be good. Now, I'm trying to get him to throw this L1, but he's got full MD, so it pushes to an L, um, to an L2. Now, I'm just going to block this so I don't trigger any more. Um, I've been so if you get that early evade on the med on the heavy, then you're good. So he throws his L1, and now I'm cooking with gas. I got an L L2 that I take about 35% of his health. Um, luckily Blade turned off the bleed because that degen and bleed would have brought me a little low. Um, so now I'm just trying to, I want him to use this, um, L2, but I'm like, fuck it. Get in there, take him down, 9k crit, and Blade makes short work of that node. So, as you can see, folks, like, I fought well, but the boost, man, they just made it so I was fine. No deaths on this. Um, that was the last of my path. Um, but I want to show you guys something. My man, um, Johnny, in the, in the Alliance, who actually has a YouTube channel as well, was going to take down these two. Now, as you can see, he rinses the, the bishop on the mini. And then my man just kind of goes up, and uh, now he's going to take the, he's going to take uh, golf down. Um, bishop was on, that was a kinetic reactor. So, um, yeah, he, he took that fight down. So now he's going to golf. Which, I think, basically with Gulf, like, if he clips you with that smash, the fight is over. Um, so you basically, if you keep him below that, his, that buff that counts upwards, if you keep him below 100, or you just don't attack when he's rushing, then you should be good. Um, so, I'm, like, sitting here, and I'm like, man, I wonder how this is gonna go, um, the, the bishop fight went really well. Um, it's always really fun to watch your buddies like fight these, um, fight the bosses and just kind of watch because it's like kind of tense and um, nobody's fought him yet, so we have a full attack bonus. Um, so if if he can take this node down, then then you know we're all we're just gonna be we're just gonna be cooking, man. So so awesome if he does. So we're just chilling, chilling, chilling. Um, at this point, we have only. Four deaths in my BG. We crushed it. Um, only four deaths feels really good. Um, it's definitely a personal best for me to be a part of a BG that only has four. I think alliance-wide, we only had 22 deaths, which is great. Um, that is definitely plat one worthy. 
um, like kind of death count right there. Definitely plot one worthy. If we cut that down, then we can make a push for master, basically. Um, but there's a big difference in defenses from plat one to master. Definitely huge, huge differences. And I don't know if our defense could stand up to it yet. But it, if we keep pushing, you never know. Um, and Johnny takes it down. I was so hyped to see that. And that made me so happy. Um, such a fantastic job to everybody in the BG. So sick. Um, definitely happy to be a part of that. Um, look forward to keep fighting more wars with this with this alliance, with this BG. So fun. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys um, have a great day. I'll check you later. Peace.